A portion of this video was sponsored by Constant Contact. Watch till the end to learn more. We've water cooled everything from phones and laptops to red 8K cameras. But up until now, our efforts have been entirely focused on cooling the devices we're using. Well, what about us? The users? I mean, I can't be the only one who gets like stress sweats when I'm the last one left on my team. Why aren't we water cooled yet? What I want is a water cooled chair. Fortunately, I know a guy. Meet the sweaty ass be gone 9,000. Patent definitely not pending. And in the next 10 minutes or so, we're gonna show you how we did it and find out if it actually works because we haven't tried it yet. I can't say this is the world's first water-cooled chair, but what I can say is it's the best one, probably. I can also say that it's exactly the kind of overkill thing you'd expect to see on this channel. This Dominator EE Black that Maxnomics sent to our chop shop is now packing, look at this, 700 watts of Silverstone power, an EK, that's right, full custom loop quality, pump and reservoir combo unit, and my favorite part is that we are not gonna be circulating some lame room temperature water because a big chunk of that Silverstone power supply is dedicated to this, a 300 watt Peltier chiller. That's right, we are going sub ambient, baby. Why? Well, here's the thing. A water loop alone is great at moving heat around but if the ambient air is close to the user's skin temperature, well, think about it. There would be zero gain. And on a very hot day, it could even have the opposite effect, pushing heat into the chair, warming the user's tush. Now, we could have used the new and improved CPU chiller that Alex and Colin built, but the idea was to create something here that could conceivably be daily driven, and nobody wants to deal with that kind of hassle. Fortunately, we had a couple of these aquarium water chillers lying around. If you're a regular watcher of LTT, which you should be by the way, so hit that subscribe button, you might remember this little guy from the first episode of Bad Cooling Ideas with Alex. Now, they didn't work out for PC cooling because a modern CPU or graphics card will easily overwhelm the cooling capacity of one of these little guys. But a resting human typically outputs anywhere between 100 to 120 watts. Well, that should be easily manageable by our 300 watt Peltier, even accounting for some inefficiency. Now, there were a few, well, extra steps to bring this to life. Our pump and res are mounted to a plate that we harvested from a seat quake kit with a nifty little 3D printed bracket, courtesy of our Prusa 3D printer farm. We're gonna drop that file in the video description if you wanna replicate this for yourself. Then we needed to do some, well, let's call it fancy plumbing. The pump outputs here to the Peltier chiller, which is okay, so far so good. But then, whoa, whoa, Nelly, it splits into dual five millimeter inputs into this manifold, which further splits it into four loops that we can independently turn on and off at will. We've got two bypass circuits. You can see them here and here that we can open if we wanna reduce restriction in our loop. And then these two are for the backrest and the seat loops respectively. The hardest part of this build, honestly, was figuring out how to integrate our tubing into the seat itself without making it noticeable. We started by choosing a very soft silicone tubing to make it harder to feel any ridges through the chair's cover layer. Then, after removing the covers from the polyurethane foam cushions, Colin sketched out their shapes and designed a flow track that was cut using his big format laser. By defocusing the pinpoint laser beam on purpose, Colin was able to slowly etch down a roughly five millimeter wide by five millimeter deep groove, running multiple passes so as not to scorch the urethane. The silicone was then tucked into the channel and then tacked into place with foam safe super glue to keep it from wiggling its way loose. Which brings us to this moment. All that's left oy, is to tuck this foam into the chair bleed the air out of the system, and uh, 
Well, we're, we're gonna find out if it works, aren't we? This is the kind of thing that is 100% inspired by a real world personal need. Like, I get freaking sweaty when I'm at my computer sometimes. Well, that was before you had AC. That's, that's true. But like, why pay for air conditioning an entire room if the only thing in it is your gaming self, right? Yeah, this is more efficient. This is eco-friendly. Jammer in there. Okay. Okay. And yeah. I got it lined up here. You gotta walk it in. So we'll get that all up in there. It's a water-cooled chair! <laughs> and it's so much better than that other one. Yeah, I mean, no one's ever gonna see that part anyway. Now we install the back. Wow, these manifolds are sick. Where'd we get these? They're actually for an aquarium. <laughs> I love it. They're air manifolds. Thank you, fish nerds. Your next step while you're down there is we gotta drop the res out to fill it. No, 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 no. careful, 3D printed. Uh, please unscrew it. <laughs> 3D printing, great for most things. Great, until you put a Linus in the equation. Hey. All right, moment of truth. Hey. LTTstore.com, by the way. Cheers. And... Wow, it really, there's not a lot of water in there. Nope. That's it, eh? Something to note is that we do have a barbed fitting on here with no collar and no uh, zip tie on it. That would normally not be best practice if we were to deploy this in the long term, but we're, we're just you know, trying it. And actually, we haven't shown you guys the switch yet. So this switch controls the power supply, which is jumpered. So you just uh, connect the green and any ground pin on the PSU. So what this does is it basically just allows us to power up the power supply without a computer. Now, I, d I don't know if you're gonna feel anything right off the hop. It's so hard to tell if it's a placebo effect. It feels really chilly to it though. It's still got a little bit of warmth on it. Like I can see where your hands touched the back of the chair and I can see where my butt was on it before, but I can also see it cooling down like hardcore right now compared to the one that does not have anything installed in it. But initial impressions, I can't feel the tubes. Like I can if I try really hard or if I feel with my fingers, but with my back, it's not the kind of thing I would notice. One thing I can see though that we missed is that this area here should have absolutely been cooled. You think? I do think so because you can you can really see oh, how much of the oh user's my. heat goes. <laughs> Look how much heat is still in there. Thigh heat. Our control chair is sitting at about 25 degrees, which is about room temperature right now. Our cooled chair is as high as 25 degrees in the areas that we're not cooling, which makes sense because foam is a, a good insulator. In the areas that we are cooling, it gets as low as 23. Oh, it looks like there's actually some areas that are even lower. So that might not sound like a big difference, but a two degree difference is the difference between like the warm pool and the cold pool. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, this is where I get all hot and bothered. Unskippable crap. I can definitely feel my back warming up. Yeah, I can see the seat. The seat has gained a little bit of heat, even just from you like being around it comparatively. All right, you guys ready? So here's the chair, Woo! and here's my back. So your back is at 30.1. Oh, okay. And the chair is at 33 at your back and 31 and a half at your legs. Okay. So we basically went up like a degree a minute on the chair. All if right. we look over to the cooled chair, it is sitting at 23 degrees. Turbo mode. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. that couple degree difference is huge especially after I've been sitting in a non-cooled chair, like effectively with insulation all over my back, I can feel it warming up. But what I'll be interested to see is after the same amount of time, if it's less warm and if I feel less warm. Remember, now you're getting into this chair and you're hot too. That's true. Two, one. Okay, what do we got? All right, you guys ready? This is it, moment of truth. Okay. Okay. Linus is back. How it's much, how cool am I? 30.5. Center your back. The chair is 30, where are we here? Right there, 30.1. But, butt's a lot colder, 27.4. I have more weight down here, which is better for thermal transfer. 
That makes sense. Because it's pushing, it's compressing the foam and you're getting closer right. to the to the thing. I like I don't remember what the initial numbers were, but the way it feels, guys, like a degree or two here or there, huge difference. It is so much more comfortable. You just wait. LTTstore.com, Nick. Yeah. For real though, we're, we're, we're not doing that. Water-cooled gamer chairs are not how we make our money. This portion of the video was sponsored by Constant Contact. Constant Contact sponsored this portion of the video to tell you guys that they're your trusted partner in email and social marketing with the people and know-how to deliver results for your business. They've got powerful, easy to use tools to help anyone look professional. That's right, even you and do more business. They provide unmatched guidance, support, and education to help you achieve your goals, and their site builder creates a personalized and mobile responsive multi-page website for you in just minutes, complete with images and guidance on content. They have all the tools to help you sell online, whether you're just getting started or already using an e-commerce website platform, and Constant Contact will help you get more sales from both new and existing customers, find new customers, and keep inventory moving and cash flowing with expert retail marketing advice. Don't take my word for it though, try it out for free at the link in the video description. Thanks to Constant Contact for sponsoring that portion of today's video. Now on to the conclusion. If you guys enjoy this kind of hacky stuff, go check out the Area 51 water cooling video that we uploaded. It's like a laptop, it's water cooled, it's crazy, it's insane. You haven't even tried it yet, have you? No. It's noticeable, right? A little bit. It's like you don't barely think so? there. I don't think it's enough. I think we need to go more tubing. No way. Okay, you haven't sat in it for very long. That's though. fair. That's, it's it, different. It takes a minute, but you have, you do feel it. That's weird. Awesome. I'm glad this worked. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs>